actually don't have me. Oh, okay. Okay. Cut all this. Yeah. <laughs> all this out. Okay. Hi. I think you should read a book. I think it's time for you to read. Before we officially begin, uh, I just gotta ask, do I need to change this shirt? Do I need to put on a better shirt? Or can I just wear this shirt? I like this shirt. Wow! Hiya! Let's get started. Right, <coughs> this is it. This is my Lego video for Scary Ghosty. Hold on, actually, I need to... If you watched the last video, then you know that this video is for one person and one person only, the scary ghosty. Hi, the scary ghosty. How are you doing today? Good. I'm doing well as well. Thank you. Now, that being said, after we celebrated hitting 500 subscribers with the scary ghosty being the 500th subscriber, we lost a subscriber. One of you knuckleheads unsubscribed, and that was the most uncool thing I've ever seen in my life. And it was also a little bit hilarious, but mostly it was uncool and not cool at all. And frankly, basically, not very that cool. So fortunately though, Chicken Morris, my hero with the sub to push us back up to 500. Chicken Morris, the next video I make is just for you. Uh, leave a comment though and let me know what video to make because there's nothing going on up here. Can I talk about Lego for a moment? with y'all. After I made that Lego video where I rebuilt all of my Star Wars Lego sets, I continued to keep on getting, you guessed it, more Lego sets. The big Star Wars sets that I got are, I got the Millennium Falcon Ultimate Collector Edition, whatever it's called. And I have the uh, Moss Eisley Cantina set. They're both gorgeous, they're both amazing, and they're also both at my parents' house because I recently moved to a whole new state and I just, I don't have everything with me right now. I was at my parents' house not too long ago. I thought to myself while I was there, I better get some quick shots of these sets so that as I talk about them, I can also prove that I do in fact have them. So this is me going ooh, ah, while I look at my two Star Wars sets. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> Ooh, ah, wow. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And now that you've seen that, we can jump into the content of today, what I wanna say. What? Here's the thing. I kind of branched out from Star Wars Lego sets. I got into Lego Monkey Kid. What's the situation with Lego Monkey Kid? First of all, there is a super cute cartoon tie-in that goes with it. There is a movie, like a special that they did, and then season one, all available on Amazon Prime. I can't watch season two because you have to get a special like kids subscription, and I can't do that. I just, I just can't do that. I can't do that. In this story, the monkey kid is kind of like picking up the torch. The monkey king is his mentor and he fights all these bad guys. And it rules and it rocks my freaking socks off. Anyways, the sets are amazing. This is May's dragon ship thing. I love the colors. I love the dragon scale detailing on the wings here. Look at that. It's got this like green jet on the back. This pops open. These things kind of, you can just kind of, you know, you can give it a different look. May's whole thing is like kind of dragon themed because she's a, a descendant of some kind of dragon situation. She also comes with this sick motorcycle and she wears this sick helmet. It, it, it's a dragon helmet thing. These things kind of like pop out. And if that isn't the coolest thing you've ever seen in your entire life, then just like stop lying. So this is another monkey kid set that I have. It's a car, right? It's like a race car situation. Got these big engine set up here in the back, which I love, and these freaking vent things. This is the cool thing about this set though. When the back wheels move, the engine and the, uh, the clouds swirl. So when you're driving this thing along, it's boosted. And I really like that about it. This is the star of the show in there. That's our monkey, monkey kid right there. I like these sets because I like the colors. I like this vibrant, very expressive, fun. It doesn't take itself seriously. It's very over the top, as you can see. I was just kind of in the mood for that, that joy and that mirth. I also think that all the lore is cool that it's based on. I got this set from Lego. This is called Everyone is Awesome. Oh, just the colors, the way they pop, what it represents. I'm here for it. It's really cool. I also want to share with you my biggest monkey kid set, which is the City of Lanterns. 
let's go take a look at that. Say hello to the City of Lanterns. I am just obsessed with the details in this. You have this freaking pig pigsy train that goes around on a workable track and you have all these different shops and things going on. You've got lanterns hanging underneath the track. Doorway here at the restaurant. We got a little drink thing here. There's our little monkey kid looking like an absolute boss. We got the Panda convenience store. We got the hotel here. This is supposed to be actually a Lego store. We also have this little restaurant. It's like a hot pot restaurant with a lobster here with a chef hat on. It does not get better than this. I do have to say one thing, just so we're clear. This set did come with a lot of stickers. You know me, I don't put stickers on Lego sets because I'm too worried that I'm gonna mess it up and I just can't risk it. So you gotta imagine some of this would have even more detail. There's like noodly details here. This is a billboard. There should be like a, a nose on this panda. You gotta forgive me for that. That's on me. But look, you can come around to the back and you can actually see inside. So this hotel has a freaking bed here. It's got a lobby here, suitcases, uh, the convenience store. That's a frog, that's a golden frog. Lego store, it's got all these different Lego sets on the wall. I think that's really cute. All these little building things are removable. Even this restaurant here, if I can, will pop right out of the middle there and you can actually take a look inside the restaurant. Look at this detail, dude. You got seats here, you got chopsticks in here in your little bowls. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's awesome. You got this freaking guy. I love him. I love him so much. Look at him eating. So happy. Building this was so fun. And just the way that it looks on my shelf is so cool. I got a bird of paradise Lego set. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shelf where I keep all the Lego stuff. So I do have some bits here. This is freaking pigsy. These are some individual minifigures that I have. Yeah, I got some uh, brick heads going on here. Now, I have some sets and boxes that I wanna show you. I've kind of just been accumulating these. I was like, well, I'm moving, all this stuff is going on so I can't start building anything yet. So I have a bunch of unbuilt Lego sets in boxes, but I can show you what I have and that's fun too. I got this Star Wars set from episode eight. It's Finn and Rose in their little resistance transport pod. This is from when they're going to Canto Bight, the casino planet with all the freaking capitalists. What? Is that me? <laughs> if you are a long time viewer of the Brandon channel, then you know that I made a video years ago critiquing the heck out of The Last Jedi. I was one of the haters. I really didn't like it. My thinking on that film has completely shifted. It went 180. If you ask me right now, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? I would tell you it's The Last Jedi. If you leave a comment saying, The Last Jedi is the worst Star Wars movie of all time. It completely ruined the franchise. I will take that as a comment of you asking me to make a video about why it's actually good, because I can do that and I will. And I'll be right too, so watch out. I got two more Monkey Kid sets in the box. This is Monkey Kid's Cloud Jet. The cool thing about this thing is this front bit right here pops off of the, the jet side and it becomes a motorcycle. And it comes with Red Sun. And Red Sun is like the best character you could ever ask for. I have this thing. This is the Monkey King Warrior Mech. If you look closely here, the Monkey Kid is actually inside of this big old beast. If I can be frank, Monkey Kid is so cool. Now we're gonna shift gears though. And I'm gonna talk about something I haven't really talked about before. Lego. So the precursor to showing off this one is Eternals came out and I didn't bother watching it because I was like, uh, it doesn't look interesting or good. I don't care really. My brother kept insisting that I watch it. Finally forced me to watch it and Eternals is the best Marvel movie. There, I said it. I said it. I can't take it back. I physically, I, I'm trying to take it back. I'm trying so hard, but I just can't do it because Eternals is the best Marvel movie. This is the uh, their big spaceship set. They have this cool monolithic type triangular ship that just freaking floats. I got the freaking Celestial set as well. I also got this Eternal set and I got this little one. I got every single Lego Eternals set. That's how much I love that movie. And I have one more Marvel set to show you here at the end. I got the uh, Shang-Chi, the dragon one. I feel like Marvel just really sat down and crushed it with Eternals, Shang-Chi, and the new Thor movie. Those three films are just on another level. I feel like they got to go in their own direction. They got to explore really complex topics 
and they were just so much fun, every single one of them. There is a Thor Lego set that I really wanna get. It's the goat boat. The reason why I say Eternals is the best Marvel film, if I can just defend my stance for a moment. The entire concept of this movie is, it's this conflict where the characters have to choose between dogma and humanity. Do you go with caring for the humans that you're on this earth to watch over? Or do you go with what your higher power is telling you to do. When I tell you that is such a cool concept, it is such a cool concept. It also asks these really tricky questions like, can you sacrifice life that exists in order to save a potential life that doesn't yet exist, if that makes sense. I really feel like Eternals is the best Marvel movie. And uh, that's the tea. What do you think of that, a scary ghosty? Full disclosure, I'm not gonna do a big epic song at the end of this one, just because I don't have the budget. To sum up, to finish the video, Lego Monkey Kid rules, Eternals rules, Shang-Chi and Thor Love and Thunder rules, everyone is awesome, and of course, Star Wars The Last Jedi is my favorite Star Wars film. And I don't care what anyone says, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Why would I care what you say? Huh? Huh? Why would I care? Why would I care? Why would I care what you say? Can you explain that? Can you explain to me why I should care what you say? Can you explain that to me? Huh? Huh? Can you explain to me why I would care what you say? <laughs> that might be fun.